Welcome to our channel, Reading Our Bible Across America. Today, we will be reading in the Old Testament. Jeremiah chapters 38 through 41. Chapter 38. Then Shephatia, the son of Matan, and Gedaliah, the son of Pasher, and Jukal, the son of Shelemiah, and Pasher, the son of Malchiah heard the words that Jeremiah had spoken unto all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, He that remaineth in this city shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. But he that goeth forth to the Chaldeans shall live, for he shall have his life for a prey, and shall live. Thus saith the Lord, This city shall surely be given into the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which shall take it. Therefore the princes said unto the king, We beseech thee, let this man be put to death, for thus he weakeneth the hands of the men of war that remain in this city, and the hands of all the people, in speaking such words unto them. For this man seeketh not the welfare of this people, but the hurt. Then Zedekiah the king said, Behold, he is in your hand, for the king is not he that can do anything against you. Then took they Jeremiah and cast him into the dungeon of Malchiah the son of Hamalek, that was in the court of the prison. And they let down Jeremiah with cords, and in the dungeon there was no water but mire, so Jeremiah sunk in the mire. Now when Abedmelech the Ethiopian, one of the eunuchs, which was in the king's house, heard that they had put Jeremiah in the dungeon, the king then sitting in the gate of Benjamin. Abedmelech went forth out of the king's house and spake to the king, saying, My lord the king, these men have done evil and all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they have cast into the dungeon. And he is like to die for hunger in the place where he is, for there is no more bread in the city. Then the king commanded Abedmelech the Ethiopian, saying, Take from hence thirty men with thee, and take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the dungeon before he die. So Abedmelech took the men with him, and they went into the house of the king under the treasury, and took thence old cast clouts and old rotten rags, and let them down by cords into the dungeon to Jeremiah. And Abedmelech the Ethiopian said unto Jeremiah, Put now these old cast clouts and rotten rags under thine armholes, under the cords. And Jeremiah did so. So they drew up Jeremiah with cords, and took him out of the dungeon. And Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Then Zedekiah the king sent and took Jeremiah the prophet unto him into the third entry that is in the house of the Lord. And the king said unto Jeremiah, I will ask thee a thing. Hide nothing from me. Then Jeremiah said unto Zedekiah, If I declare it unto thee, wilt thou not surely put me to death? And if I give thee counsel, wilt thou not hearken unto me? So Zedekiah the king swore secretly unto Jeremiah, saying, As the Lord liveth that made us this soul, I will not put thee to death, neither will I give thee into the hand of these men that seek thy life. Then said Jeremiah unto Zedekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, If thou wilt assuredly go forth unto the king of Babylon's princes, then thy soul shall live, and this city shall not be burned with fire, and thou shalt live in thine house. But if thou wilt not go forth to the king of Babylon's princes, then shall this city be given into the hand of the Chaldeans, and they shall burn it with fire, and thou shalt not escape out of their hand. And Zedekiah the king said unto Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews that are fallen to the Chaldeans, lest they deliver me into their hand, and they mock me. But Jeremiah said, They shall not deliver thee. Obey, I beseech thee, the voice of the Lord, which I speak unto thee, so it will be well unto thee, and thy soul shall live. But if thou refuse to go forth, this is the word that the Lord hath showed me. And behold, all the women that are left in the king of Judah's house, shall be brought forth to the king of Babylon's princes, 
and those women shall say, Thy friends have set thee on, and have prevailed against thee. Thy feet are sunk in the mire, and they are turned away back. So they shall bring out all thy wives and thy children to the Chaldeans, and they shalt not escape out of their hand, but shall be taken by the hand of the king of Babylon. And thou shalt cause this city to be burned with fire. Then said Zedekiah to Jeremiah, Let no man know of these words, and thou shalt not die. But if the princes hear that I have talked with thee, and they come unto thee, and say unto thee, Declare unto us now what thou hast said unto the king. Hide it not from us, and we will not put thee to death. Also what the king said unto thee. Then thou shalt say unto them, I presented my supplication before the king, that he would not cause me to return to Jonathan's house to die there. Then came all the princes unto Jeremiah, and asked him. And he told them according to all these words that the king had commanded. So they left off speaking with him, for the matter was not perceived. So Jeremiah abode in the court of the prison unto the day that Jerusalem was taken, and he was there when Jerusalem was taken. Chapter 39 In the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the tenth month came Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and all his army against Jerusalem, and they besieged it. And in the eleventh year of Zedekiah in the fourth month, the ninth day, of the month the city was broken up, and all the princes of the king of Babylon came in and sat in the middle gate, even Nigal Sharazer, Sam Garnebo, Sar Shechem, Reb Saras, Nigal Sharazer, Reb Mag, with all the residue of the princes of the king of Babylon. And it came to pass that when Zedekiah the king of Judah saw them and all the men of war when they fled and went forth out of the city by night, by the way of the king's garden, by the gate betwixt the two walls. And he went out the way of the plain. But the Chaldeans' army pursued after them, and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho. And when they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, to Riblah in the land of Hamath, where he gave judgment upon him. Then the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah and Riblah before his eyes. Also the king of Babylon slew all the nobles of Judah. Moreover, he put out Zedekiah's eyes and bound him with chains to carry him to Babylon. And the Chaldeans burned the king's house and the houses of the people with fire and break down the walls of Jerusalem. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive into Babylon, the remnant of the people that remained in the city and those that fell away that fell to him with the rest of the people that remained. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left of the poor of the people which had nothing in the land of Judah and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. Now Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, gave charge concerning Jeremiah to Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, saying, Take him and look well to him, and do him no harm, but do unto him even as he shall say unto thee. So Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, sent, and Nebuchadnezzar, Rebsaras, and Nergal Sherezer, Rabmag, and all the king of Babylon's princes. Even they sent and took Jeremiah out of the court of the prison, and committed him unto Dalia, the son of Ahiakim, the son of Shaphan that he should carry him home, so he dwelt among the people. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Go and speak to Abedmelech, the Ethiopian, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring my words upon this city for evil and not for good, and they shall be accomplished in that day before thee. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith the Lord, and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee. Because thou hast put thy trust in me, saith the Lord. Chapter 40 The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, after that Nebuzaradan, 
the captain of the guard, had let him go from Ramah. When he had taken him, being bound in chains, among all that were carried away captive of Jerusalem and Judah, which were carried away captive unto Babylon. And the captain of the guard took Jeremiah and said unto him, The Lord thy God hath pronounced this evil upon this place. Now the Lord hath brought it, and done according as he hath said, because ye have sinned against the Lord, and have not obeyed his voice. Therefore this thing is come upon you. And now, behold, I loose thee this day from the chains which are upon thine hand. If it seem good unto thee to come with me into Babylon, come, and I will look well unto thee. But if it seem ill unto thee to come with me into Babylon, forbear. Behold, all the land is before thee. Whither it seemeth good and convenient for thee to go, thither go. Now while he was not yet gone back, he said, Go back also to Gedaliah, the son of Ahiakim, the son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon hath made governor over the cities of Judah, and dwell with him among the people, or go wheresoever it seemeth convenient unto thee to go. So the captain of the guard gave him victuals and a reward, and let him go. Then went Jeremiah unto Gedaliah, the son of Ahiakim, to Mizpah, and dwelt with him among the people that were left in the land. Now, when all the captains of the forces which were in the fields, even they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah the son of Ahiakim governor in the land, and had committed unto him men and women and children, and of the poor of the land, of them that were not carried away captive to Babylon, they came to Gedaliah, to Mizpah, even Ishmael, the son of Nathaniel, and Johanan, and Jonathan, the sons of Cariah, and Syria, the son of Tanhumath, and the sons of Ephi, the Netahathite, Dezana, the son of a Machathite, they and their men, and Gedaliah the son of Hiakim, the son of Shaphan, swear unto them and to their men, saying, Fear not to serve the Chaldeans. Dwell in the land and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. As for me, behold, I will dwell at Mizpah to serve the Chaldeans, which will come unto us. But ye, gather ye wine, and summer fruits and oil, and put them in your vessels, and dwell in your cities that ye have taken. Likewise, when all the Jews that were in Moab and among the Ammonites and in Eden and that were in the countries heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah and that he had set over them Gedaliah the son of Ahiakim, the son of Shaphan, even all the Jews returned out of all places whither they were driven and came to the land of Judah to Gedaliah unto Mizpah and gathered wine and summer fruits very much. Moreover, Johanan the son of Cariah, and all the captains of the forces that were in the fields came to Gedaliah, to Mizpah, and said unto him, Dost thou certainly know that Balas the king of the Ammonites hath sent Ishmael the son of Nathaniah to slay thee? But Gedaliah the son of Ahiakim believed them not. Then Johanan the son of Cariah, spake to Gedaliah in Mizpah secretly, saying, Let me go, I pray thee, and I will slay Ishmael the son of Nathaniah, and no man shall know it. Wherefore should he slay thee, that all the Jews which are gathered unto thee should be scattered, and the remnant in Judah perish? But Gedaliah the son of Ahiakim said unto Johanan the son of Cariah, Thou shalt not do this thing, for thou speakest falsely of Ishmael. Chapter 41 Now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael the son of Nathaniel, the son of Elishima, of the seed royal, and the princes of the king, even ten men with him, came into Gedaliah the son of Ahiakim to Mizpah, and there they did eat bread together in Mizpah. Then arose Ishmael the son of Nathaniah, and the ten men that were with him, and smote Gedaliah the son of Ahiakim, the son of Shaphan, with the sword, and slew him, whom the king 
of Babylon had made governor over the land. Ishmael also slew all the Jews that were with him, even with Gedaliah at Mezpah, and the Chaldeans that were found there, and the men of war. And it came to pass the second day after he had slain Gedaliah, and no man knew it, that there came certain from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria, even fourscore men, having their beards shaven, and their clothes rent, and having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand to bring them to the house of the Lord. And Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, went forth from Mizpah to meet them, weeping all along as he went. And it came to pass, as he met them, he said unto them, Come to Gedaliah, the son of Ahiakim. And it was so, when they came into the midst of the city, that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, slew them and cast them into the midst of the pit, he and the men that were with him. But ten men were found among them that said unto Ishmael, Slay us not, for we have treasures in the field of wheat and of barley and of oil and of honey. So he forbore and slew them not among their brethren. Now the pit wherein Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain because of Gedaliah was it which Asa the king had made for fear of Basha king of Israel, and Ishmael the son of Nathaniah filled it with them that were slain. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the residue of the people that were in Mizpah, even the king's daughters, and all the people that remained in Mizpah, whom Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had committed to Gedaliah the son of Ahiakim. And Ishmael the son of Nathaniah carried them away captive and departed to go over to the Ammonites. But when Johanan the son of Cariah and all the captains of the forces that were with him heard of all the evil that Ishmael the son of Nathaniah had done, then they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael the son of Nathaniah and found him by the great waters that are in Gibeon. Now it came to pass that when all the people which were with Ishmael saw Johanan the son of Cariah and all the captains of the forces that were with him then they were glad. So all the people that Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah cast about and returned and went unto Johanan the son of Cariah. But Ishmael the son of Nathaniah escaped from Johanan with eight men and went to the Ammonites. Then took Johanan the son of Cariah and all the captains of the forces that were with him all the remnant of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, from Mizpah. After that he had slain Gedaliah, the son of Ahiakim, even mighty men of war, and the women and the children and the eunuchs whom he had brought again from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitation of Chimham, which is by Bethlehem to go to enter into Egypt because of the Chaldeans, for they were afraid of them, because Ishmael the son of Nathaniah had slain Gedaliah the son of Ahiakim, whom the king of Babylon made governor in the land. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you will join us again tomorrow. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, leave us some comments. May God bless you and your family. Bye, friends.